I was looking for a video on how to replace the AP board on my Bamboo Lab X1C and I couldn't find one so I figured I would just document the process. I bought this printer from a guy who bought it two years prior and never turned it on. I turned it on and it worked and I'm able to print the benchy, no problem, but it would not connect to the Bamboo Lab app. It just kept saying login failed and I didn't know what to do with it. So I opened up a support ticket and they informed me that the firmware was so old it would no longer connect to their cloud services for security reasons. The seller was nice enough to give me his original receipt and Bamboo Lab was generous enough to cover it under warranty, even though they probably shouldn't have. It, it is a $150 board if you, if you have to purchase it outright. They sent the board over and I got to replacing it. Um, all the connections on the right are pretty easy to undo, which is a screwdriver or by your hand if you have small hands. The screws, the screws have a lot of Loctite on them, so they are kind of a pain to get them in and get them out. The connections on the right have a silicone that hold them in place. I had to get a Harbor Freight heat gun for about $17 and just loosen the silicone enough to pull them off. I also did a, buy a pair of small precision pliers to make it easier so I could try to not have my hands so much in this video. There is a ribbon cable on the back that you have to open a tab. You can just use a flat screwdriver to open it and pull the ribbon cable out. Um, if you're not careful, you can see what I did here. I pulled one of the wires out of the connector for the camera, but it wasn't that big of a deal. I was able to just repin the, the connector by pushing it right back in. These connections I just reinserted without heating up the silicone just in case I had to reseat any of them, which was probably a good idea because I did end up changing out the light connection for a Panda Lux light, so it made it a lot easier. I wanted to make sure once everything was done, then I would go back and re-silicone them. So after the connections are done, just put the cover back on. It does reset the printer to the factory default, so you have to go through the calibration setup, join the Wi-Fi network, and then hurry up and wait at this point. Once the calibration's done, there is a micro LiDAR error, but we'll get back to that in a few minutes. If I go through the settings, you can see the firmware is all zeros and the serial number on the printer is now different due to the new system board. So I go back into the app, I go back to my ticket where I was originally talking to them, I give them the new serial number of the new board and the old serial number of the old board so they could deactivate that one and activate the new one. Without this step, you cannot bind the printer or log into it. Same issue as I was having previously. So now I can go in the calibration and reconfigure the micro lighter, which only takes a few minutes. After that's done, the error is no longer present and we're good to go on that front. It did take Bamboo Lab about two days to respond to my ticket where they had the board activated and I was able to bind the printer without any issues at that point. I hope this video was useful to somebody. The whole process was pretty easy and straightforward. It took about 30 minutes from start to finish.